So hi, this is my first trial of uh, experiment experiment by uh, capturing the brain signal using the emotive epoch. So here in the first scene, I show you the headset setup. So you can see the position of the sensors on my head, and there are several colors actually. For example, black means uh, no signal, and then red means very poor signal, and then orange means uh, poor signal, and then yellow means qu uh, quite fair signal, and then green means perfect signal. And totally there are uh, 16 sensors in the emotive uh, epoch. And then in the emotive control panel you can see several suit. For example, expressive suit. Here is the suit uh, used to control the avatar by using the face uh, expressions. For example, when you smile, the avatar will follow your movements of the lips. And then when you blink, the eye of the avatar will also blink. And this is the effective uh, suit, uh, which is, I think, it's used to uh, get the condition of our brain for example when uh, we are feeling frustration or when we are when, when we are doing meditation or when we are uh, feeling excited etc we can see the recorded brain signal here and then yeah for the uh, next suit is the cognitive suit Basically, this suit is very popular, uh, particularly in the, uh, you know, in the uh, video or in the promotion of the emotive. And in this suit, the user can control the flying box, uh, which is located inside a 3D space. And I have trained the movement here one movement to push the box and as you can see there is a natural position when we can put the box in the middle of the room and then we can try to imagine uh, some mental pictures in order to move the box uh, depends on our uh, uh, pictures depend on our mental pictures for example when we would like to push the box then we should uh, first train the the movement. So this, basically, the software will record the signal, and then finishing uh, the rec the record, the software can uh, uh, translate our uh, brain signal to the uh, movement of the box. So here, I will uh, imagine the box in the middle position of the room so I don't think uh, any movements here and then I will try to push it's quite hard actually so yeah okay so and then this is the second movement so I will try to uh, pull the box Actually, I, we have to train, but uh, here I have trained my uh, uh, signal. It's quite hard, actually. So, yeah, I try to pull the box uh, to get closer to my body. And then we can add, for example, we add uh, more movements here, lifting. It's quite hard movement, so it has been trained before, and I try to imagine the box flying and moving uh, to the upper position. Yeah, it's quite hard. No, it, yeah, we can try to retrain the data. For example, we would like to 
uh, clear the training data and then Yeah, this is uh, how the box moves by my brain signal. Okay, so I'm trying to add some more movement which is quite hard. For example, disappear. This is, I think, the, the hardest one. So uh, the software said export only. Yeah, we will try to make it disappear. No. Let's try to. Okay, so it's quite hard. So let's accept the training and then we can try to make it disappear actually. No, it's quite hard. No. Yeah, it's quite hard to imagine the box uh, disappear from the 3D space, but yeah, I'm trying to... Uh, I, let's try once again. No, it doesn't work. So, yeah, I think it needs uh, uh, training to move the box or to pull, to push, to lift. But the, the one uh, which is quite difficult is to make the box disappear. So, yeah. Okay, so this is the uh, overview of uh, the first uh, trial of Emotive. So if you would like to try the software, it's better to, for, for example, cut the hair, maybe to make the hair thinner and then make sure that you uh, put enough water, uh, in enough moisture to the sensor so that the sensor will uh, quite wet and then it can capture uh, electrical wave in your brain so thank you very much for watching i hope uh, it useful for you so thank you